Hey y'all, welcome to the Suburban Stitcher podcast. This is episode 107 and today is November 22nd, 2016. Uh, my name is Diane and I am coming to you from Richmond, Texas, um, suburbia, suburbia, suburbia. Um, it is it is suburbia. It is a suburb of Houston, sort of a suburb of a suburb, but you know, we're, we're out there. <laughs> Anyway, um, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, if you are a new viewer, thank you so much for checking me out. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. Um, I have a very quick episode this week um, with just a couple of knitting things. Um, so let's get started. Um, I have no... I don't know if you would count these finished or just, I don't know whether they're technically finished objects or what, but I have two blanket squares since the last time we spoke. Um, I have just basically done a lot of blanket knitting. So I finished my um, Zombodies Jumping in the Leaves square, and this pattern is called the Barn Raising Quilt. It is in a book by Larissa Brown. Um, it is, as I mentioned on the last episode, it is part of a book that is not available for individual purchase. Um, so you either have to purchase the book or find it at your local library, which is what I did. Um, and yeah, so it, thank you to those who messaged me. Um, I do have this linked in my projects. So if you go to Ravelry, I am DBB Stitch on Ravelry. I'm Suburban Stitcher on Instagram. But if you find me on Ravelry and go to my projects, you might have to scroll down a little bit. But it's in the first few rows of works in progress. And it is called the, I think I have it called Barn Raising Quilt. And you'll see a bunch of these squares laid out. Um, it is there. Um, and then I finished a second square. This is my clairvoyant yarn from Spun Right Round and that is done. I have knit on pretty much all of my blankets this week. Um, I'm only going to show you these two because they're just the easiest to show. The other blankets um, are, you'll just have to take my word that I that I knit on them, um, but I really did not do a whole lot of crafting and um, what not this week because I worked like a mad woman last week to get out all of the peppermint mocha pre-orders. Those are in the mail as of last Friday on their way to their new homes, hopefully there by now. And um, and then this weekend and this week so far, I have been working on new bags and uh, sorry, I'm just trying to fighting with the light a little bit. Um, there, this is the side. <laughs> this is the side that's giving me a glare. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Um, but I put all those in the mail, and then this week I have been working on tomorrow's shop update, um, which we'll talk about in just a minute. The other thing that I have been knitting on is a project that I started this week out of some yarn that was sent to me for review um, and I'm really excited about this project. Um, the yarn is from Kramer Yarns and I don't have the label with me so I will link it in the show notes but it's Kramer Yarns sent this to me um, for review. It is their sp spun silver or silver spun um, yarn base and it is a gorgeous, sparkly yarn. I am knitting the pattern Neuromalintu. I believe that's how you say it. Again, I will link it in the show notes, but it's a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, it's a garter stitched asymmetrical shawl that has a bunch of garter stitch with some lace sort of in between there. And I'm loving how it's knitting up. Here is the yarn in the cake. As you can see, it's super sparkly so glad. That's actually fairly accurate um, as far as the color. Right there it's just a little bit cranberry red, crimsony red, not quite candy apple red. But it's very sparkly and I am just 
here and there when I've had some time just doing a few rows. So you can see that you start with a little bit of a cast on and then you just expand from there. So it's very easy, um, very kind of mindless knitting, which is great. It's exactly what I've needed. Very little to keep track of. Um, and that is really all my knitting for this last, it's really only been like five or six days since the last time I podcasted. Um, but to the main reason that I am here talking to you today is I wanted to give you a little preview of what will be in the shop update tomorrow. Um, so let's talk bags. I will have some of these, which are kind of a Christmas tinsel, Christmas sparkle with a linen bottom, and they have a kind of peppermint stripe. I will have this one, which are these sweet cables with hearts, linen bottom, and then this one has kind of a silvery heart, gray lining, which is super cute. I will have these holiday cocktails, super fun, with that lining, kind of a herringbone. I will have a couple of these trees. This is it. So if you, I've had lots of people message me about this fabric. Um, if you are interested, this is the last two that I'll have for this year. Um, and then I have some Santas, which are super cute. And this is just kind of a red splattered background. Um, and then I think I might have one more fabric that isn't quite finished up yet, but that's the majority of what will be in the shop, as well as I still have some sheep and alpaca bags. I still have um, some of the reindeer bags in there. So all of that will be in the shop. And then there will be yarn. <laughs> um, I don't have a ton to start with because there could be three of you that like it and then I'm stuck with a lot of yarn. So I am just being very conservative this first time out of the gate because it just makes sense to be conservative and just sort of gauge um, if anybody wants it. <laughs> so I have a handful of each color that I will show you. Sometimes two, sometimes three. And I only have three that I can show you right now. Um, so anyway. So I will have, I think that what I have the most of is this Christmas colorway. This is what I was knitting my socks out of. Um, I think there's five or six of these skeins. But this one is Holly Jolly. And it is greens and like chartreuse and red. And then every once in a while there's a blue, like an aqua blue speckle. The aqua blue is just well every once in a while you can see right there. Um, so that's holly jolly. Lots of speckles. Um, the second colorway which is probably my favorite. This is new since last week um, and there will be I think there's three of these. Um, this one is called Tainted Love, and it is, it is a pink with darker pink and gray speckles. So it's a very kind of subtle, tonally speckled. So there will be some of those. And then these, which are not quite dried. This was intended to be Accidental Plum, which I showed off last week. It was that beautiful kind of dark plummy color. Um, and these are just still drying. They're not quite dry. And as you can see, it's not quite as dark as before, but it's a darker sort of plummy pink and then with grays. So these just may be 
random experiment number one. <laughs> but there will be two of those. Um, but it is very pretty. And, um, and then I have one other one that is drying that it was really just too wet to show you, but it's going to have some lovely kind of light aqua um, with some speckles. So super fun. So the update is tomorrow at noon and that's Wednesday, November 23rd at noon central time. Um, I'm quite nervous um, to see, you know, just if, if you like the yarn and, um, you know, what, what people will like and anyway, so I'm, I'm nervous. I'm excited. Um, I hope that you like what I have spent the time doing and I thank you in advance for your support. So that is really it for this week. Um, like I said, it's a short one, um, a very quick episode. Tomorrow is the shop update. Thank you in advance. Um, and I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all of those of you that live in the United States. Um, and we'll be celebrating Thanksgiving in a couple of days. Ours is going to be very low key this year, which I'm thrilled for. Um, it's at my house and I'm hosting. There's only six people total and there's four people in my family. So it is low key and lovely and we will be wearing jeans and t-shirts and nothing fancy. And it's just gonna be a fabulous day. So I hope that um, for those that will be celebrating Thanksgiving, whether it's with friends or family or friends that are family, <laughs> um, that you have a lovely day. And that is it for this week. I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.